In the previous lecture, we gave an introduction to the human eye, so we discussed the various types of components that make up the human eye. Now let's discuss the two types of conditions that affect the eye, known as myopia or nearsightedness and the hyperopia or farsightness. So, let's begin our discussion by defining what a normal eye is. So, the eye of a human is said to be normal if the eye has a near point of 25 centimeters and a far point at infinity. Now, we define the near point as the closest distance the eye can focus objects clearly, while the far point is the farthest point an object can be seen clearly. So, let's examine diagram A. So, in diagram A, we have the normal human eye and our object is found at an infinite distance away. So the object distance is equal to infinity. That basically means when the rays of light bounce off our object and travel to the human eye, when they reach the human eye, the rays of light will be parallel with respect to the principal axis. Now, when the ray of light enters the cornea and the lens, refraction of light takes place. And all these rays of light will essentially converge into a single point known as the focal point found on the retina of the eye. So this describes a normal eye when the person is viewing an object that is very far away, assumed to be infinitely far away. Now, let's examine diagram B. Diagram B essentially describes the normal eye that is viewing an object that is found close to our eye. So, let's suppose that the object is found 25 centimeters from the cornea and the lens of the eye. So, the object distance is 25 centimeters. So, this is our object. Now, when the rays of light bounce off our object and reach the cornea and the lens, they will refract and once again will end up, will focus and converge onto the focal point, which is found once again on the retina. So, in both cases, our image will be focused onto a single point, so the object will be seen clearly. Now, let's discuss our two conditions. So, let's begin with nearsightedness, also known as myopia. So, myopia is a condition of the eye in which the far point is not infinity, but some finite distance. This basically means that the eye cannot focus on images that are found very far away. And so, when a person with this condition known as myopia or nearsightedness observes an object that is very far away, that object will in fact appear blurry. Now, myopia is usually caused by an eyeball that is elongated as shown in the following diagram. So, let's see exactly what happens to the rays of light uh, of an eyeball that has myopia. So, let's suppose our object is found an infinite distance away. The rays of light bounce off that object, eventually reach the eye, and are parallel with respect to the principal axis. Now, such an eye that has myopia essentially refracts our rays of light, and the rays of light converge to a point that is found in front of the retina. So that means because this point is not on the retina, the image or the object will appear blurry. So, in such a case, images are focused onto a point that is found in front of the retina as shown in the following diagram. Now, on the other hand, a person can also have a hyperopia, and hyperopia is essentially known as farsightness. So, hyperopia is a condition of the eye in which the near point is greater than 
25 centimeters. So this means that objects that are viewed up close will appear blurry. So this is usually caused by an eyeball that is too short or by a cornea that is not curved enough. So let's see exactly what that means by looking at the following diagram. So let's suppose we uh, place an object at a point that is 25 centimeters away from our cornea. So in such a case, when the rays of light refract on our cornea and lens, those rays of light will not be able to bend quickly enough and so the point of convergence will be after our cornea as shown in the following diagram. So, in such a case, the images are focused onto a point that appears to form behind in the back of our retina. Now, in the next lecture, we're going to examine corrective lenses. Corrective lenses or glasses can be essentially used to correct myopia and hyperopia. So, in the case of myopia, we essentially want to use a diverging or or concave lens so that our rays of light are not bent as much. However, in the case of hyperopia, we want to use a converging or convex lens so that our rays of light are bent quickly enough so that they reach the back of our eye at a point on the retina.